Yep, guys. This is where it all began. The University of South Florida for me. I came here and I seen the guy that was going to remove the cancer from me, my prostate. And this is where I had my catheter stuck for an hour and a half. This place brings me chills and just knowing how to get here without using a GPS is scary. And now today, I'm meeting a guy for the first time. Who the hell knows how many people are going to be around me. My pants down. I'm getting a shot down there. Good morning. Good morning. Well, like I said, I'm going to try to get you guys in there and then when this is all over and done with, I'll explain to you. If, if I can talk. I mean, that catheter, oh my God. I got PTSD from it. Nightmare. I wonder what this nightmare is going to bring me. There she is. The Mursani Center. so I can get an erection here and then they're going to use that <laughs> scanner. <sighs> Fuck. So I'm only going to give you 25 units. Um, I may give you because you haven't tried it. I may give you three units. That should give you an erection even if it doesn't, it's fine. Okay, so um, basically what's going to happen is you're going to hit me with a needle I'm going to get an erection. Or I should get an erection. And then we go from there. And then I take pictures, and then, and then the doctor comes in. Yep. You'll be out of here in no time, I promise. You drop your pants and your underwear. This is going to cover you. Just sit back. And then raise your legs so up high. I'm going to pull this out here for your feet. Oops. All right. Just scoot back and get comfortable. There's a pillow there. Not the best. We'll put this in here for now. You can stretch your legs. Okay. So this medication is called Bimix, okay? It comes in different concentrations. It comes also as Trimix, which has another ingredient. So, just so you know what we're giving you. <laughs> I promise you'll be fine. You'll see. So first I'm going to uncover you and I'm going to grab, pull the skin back and feel for any calcifications, okay? You're fine. Okay, I don't feel anything. Just gonna go right here on the side, okay? I'm gonna clean with some cold alcohol. I know you don't want me to tell you, but I have to tell you. <laughs> so I don't startle you. Just cold alcohol, okay? That's all. And this is literally 
this up there quick pull. You may just feel the medication, okay? One, two, three, two. That's it. Medication burns a little. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, dear. That's it. Yeah. You survived. Good job. <laughs> Does it sting a little? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, some people, I don't know why it's that hard to them. going to move you to the room next door and the doctor will talk to you in there okay so this is just the the erectile tissue which is these two circles here this is the, the bottom of the of the penis this black line means that you have some dense fibrotic or scar tissue on the top of your penis this is very common okay and that could also be because of when they went through the urethra um, with the catheters and all that stuff okay other than that these are your erections here so this should be at least 25 so this is the right so you are getting enough blood but you have what's called venous leak so when you get an erection the penis should get the blood and hold it in there with when they have their prostate removed because everything gets messed up those veins aren't able to hold the blood in there so we see a higher um venous leak this should be no more than five so you're really not that far off and then the last same thing should be uh, this is a little less and this is a little more so but this is normal with your having your prostate removed. So that's all there is to the ultrasound. But now based on that, he knows, okay, there's definitely dysfunction and then he'll go from there. Gotcha. The old consultation room after the needle. Morning. <laughs> Nothing like a morning Doppler test on the penis, huh? That's a special morning. <laughs> it's not an everyday thing. <laughs> In reference to your prostate surgery, you've not really tried therapy for the erections at all yet, correct? Correct. Now, is therapy consist of what she just did to me? Oh, well, well believe needle. it or not, yeah, that little injection is therapy. Stimulates, yeah, stimulates the penis to wake up. But then again, the pills could potentially, um, the pills could potentially do the same to some extent. In other words, <clears throat> they work in different mechanisms. So let me explain why. An injectable <clears throat> works through a tra traffic system where you will get erect today. Now, she gives you a light dose. But if I were to give you a major dose, you'd have an erection for hours today now let's go to the pill <clears throat> if you take three full doses of viagra like it's an overdose three full doses you still won't get erect today because it works on a highway that takes time for it to recover that's they need intact nerves and intact nerves are hard to come by after a prostatectomy you got to take time for it to regrow so there's two thought processes when i trained it was, well, if so-and-so is such a great prostate cancer surgeon, it'll just come back. And now we know that you got to do something to get something, or at least increases the odds. So, one is, the simplest, is just take a pill. Take a Viagra two or three times a week, or a Cialis, and, and just wait. The best would be, no, um, my penis is waking up this weekend and it's going to wake up once or twice a week until things naturally wake up. So that's basically the tier. Do nothing, just wait. See if it comes back on its own. Take a pill two or three times and wait. Or inject once or twice a week and wait for the natural you to come back. And that's basically it. That's your three choices in terms of rehab. Okay. Now, in those three choices, how detrimental right now is the making the injection versus the pills where I'm at. Like, you know, like uh, if I say, hey, let's try the pills for one month only, okay? And that way it gives me enough time to filter all this, what's going on, 
per se. Because I'm terrified of needles, number one. That wasn't that bad. Uh, I did that for a month, and then I said, hey, Doc, let's, let's go straight to the thing. Would I have lost a month of, hey, we should have just went to injection right away? So, here's your penis, and it's got a pool system inside. It's got two turbines. That's a hydraulic system. They're not solid. They're spongy, and they're full of fluid dynamics. When you're normal, blood's going in, blood's going out. It's, it's this nice symbiotic mechanism. That's why overnight... There's even a self-check mechanism on this pool system. Let's call it a pool system. That's probably the easiest way to visualize it. When you sleep, the penis is even waking up and going down, waking up and going down, especially during REM sleep. It's called nocturnal erection. Every normal guy gets them. You may not wake up with a morning erection you used to always, but it's getting erect during the, during the night regardless. When you get a prostatectomy, the whole system is shut down. You're not getting erect during the day, and you're not getting erect at night. So the longer it stays this inert, these systems get rusty in layman terms. It's a pool. I don't know if you have a pool at home. Yeah. It's a pool where you just turn off the pump saying, you know what? <clears throat> I'm not going to swim until next month. But you can't leave it like that. Algae, dirt, all this crud builds in on the pool. Same thing with the penis. The longer you stay inert, the longer fibrosis, which is equal, let's call that equal to algae, dirt, you'll get stuff that's detrimental to the penis. That's why the cream of the cream in terms of penile health is I'm getting it erect this weekend. Even injecting twice a week, it still doesn't replace the normal you. But that's a, a, an acceptable attempt to try to get the penis to rinse out. The pills won't provide an erection, but the molecules of the pills, which, which the key molecule is nitric oxide, it says NO, like no, but it's nitric oxide. At least that is healthy for the tissues and anti-scarring. Not as good as the needle, but at least it's something better than nothing. And then doing nothing is the worst. Now, what's, what's a telltale sign of a patient who gambled wrong? If I get a guy who comes back and sees me six months later and says, carry on. Erections are bad. I'm getting frustrated. I tried a couple pills because it didn't, never really worked because he was looking for the pill to give an erection. And I already told you that's not for an erection. It's just for the vitamin to try to keep it healthy. Now, help me out. And I inject him then, when before he didn't want to do injections. And he sees, and he might be curved, and he's definitely smaller. And he's like, hey, but what happened to my penis? So what will happen is the penis also shrinks. If you haven't noticed it already, it turtles, it withdraws. When you don't use it, you lose it. So that's probably the only difference. No one dies from ED. Let's say you're in an island right now. You just had your prostate taken out. You're just going to live the rest of your life. You're not going to die from penis problems. Yeah. It'll be tiny. It'll be non-functional, but, but you'll, be, you'll be peeing. You'll be fine. So the whole premise of this clinic is if you want your penis to actually work for you besides peeing, if the answer is yes, then you have to strongly consider, okay, what do I have to do? If your answer is carry on, you're a good guy and all, but I haven't really had sex in five years. I have no inclination to even thinking of sex. And I don't care if it gets smaller. It doesn't bother me. Which is fine. Then no, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do these. I would definitely not do it. Well, then it's injections. <clears throat> so I'm, that's I'm already right. four months into this not working. So that's four months. Just picture, the longer your penis yeah. is in retirement, yeah. it may stay in yeah. serious retirement. Because four months is close to the halfway six month mark, and that's usually can be detrimental. So I don't want to play. All right, yeah, I'm just going to have to do it because I'm four months in. 
on the 15th of this month, I'll be four if, months. If the man says, man, I want my penis to work for me next year to enjoy intimacy, then I would. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to, you know. But they'll send you the, the actual medication, the syringes that go with it, as, and as well as a sharps container to deposit your, your needles into. Yep. Okay. Um, you're going to start off at 30 units. The needles, they're like insulin syringes. So they come in units, okay? So you're gonna draw up 30 units into your syringe, okay? That's what you're gonna start off with. If that doesn't work for you, 24 hours later, you wanna try again, you can bump it up to 40. But no, no more than 10 units can you do those bumps until you get the desired effect that you're looking for, okay? Make sure when you're injecting into the penis that you're doing that nine and three o'clock on the sides, it's always on the sides of the penis, so you pull the penis away from your body. It's always on the sides, that nine and three, and at least one finger width away from the body. So say this is your penis, okay, and you've pulled it away from your body, you've pulled it away from your body, you've stretched out, at least one finger width away from the body. So anywhere right in this area, okay, is what you're looking so at. Finger width this. Yeah, one finger width away. Like that. Yep away from the body. So anywhere right through here, okay, is where you can do your injection. Gotcha. So once you've pulled it, you've, you've done this, you say, okay, this is my general area. Gotcha. I want you to press in into the penis. You have fibrous material that runs more along the top and a softer spongiosum area that's underneath that. It's in that softer area that you're gonna get a better effect with this medication. So you're going to feel that harder goes down just a little bit and you have a give. You'll feel it. It's a, it's a give compared to that harder fibrous area. If you find that, turn and look. Make sure there's not a vein right there. Try to avoid your vein. It can cause a lot of bruising and discomfort when you hit a vein. So try to avoid a vein if you can. So okay, there's my area. I'm going to clean it. I've got my medicine. I'm going to go straight in. It's a 90 degree, just like this, straight in. Inject in, pull out. Okay? So those that, those are your basic directions, and I'm going to give you this. Alright, guys. I'm done with my first visit to start my erectile dysfunction process because of my prostate cancer removal and let me say one thing boy that it stung and what they do is they let you get they shoot you in there to get an erection and then she comes with a camera and takes pictures of the whole area now, I got video of the guy explaining everything. I mean, he explained it in detail, this therapy thing here. Uh, I got video of the lady explaining the whole process. So those videos I will do separately, make separate videos for them because they are lengthy. I mean, this guy goes into real good detail onto why I have to choose the injection therapy. And it's at home. So yes, BB the phlebotomist will be giving me anywhere from two to three injections a week. And then from there, hopefully, we do not have to go for higher doses. So right now they got me on the lowest one, which is 30. Now what she said is, I mean, some of my numbers were looking good. As far as the scar tissues that from the uh, catheter, so there's some scar, you know, there's some tissues there that are irritated. So I got to hopefully that should heal on its own. The injections, of course, I have to pull my private part ahead, pull it out, and the injections go on the side 
way in the back on a three o'clock position. So, and if it doesn't work, the 30 milligrams or the, the yeah, I'll say 30 milligrams because they provide you the needles and everything. And I'll, like I said, I'll do other videos on it. I mean, I just left there. It wasn't that bad as I thought it would be, but I mean, I don't like needles to begin with anyway. I mean, that's just in general. But like I said, you do feel a pinch. I'll say that much. And then she did let me know, like, hey, now the formula is going in. You're going to feel that. And I promise you, that was only at 30. What the one lady was telling me that if I'm at 70, if I'm filling that syringe up at 70 ml, milliliters, whatever it's called, and it's not working, then there's a problem. You know, there's a problem there. I should go no more than 70 on the milliliters. So my goal is to keep it at 30, no more than 50, because at 30, when you feel that get injected, I promise you, you feel it. So at 30, that hurt. Just imagine at 70 or 100. She said there's people that shoot 70 plus just just because that's how hard they want it and Jesus Christ I guess you know what you'll do <laughs> to get the erection <laughs> what people would do but this is all because of the surgery on my end before that I didn't have the problem but it's funny when you hear him explain it and everything you know, some people are like, oh, man, I'm huge, you know. And then he says, if you wait too long, and that's the whole thing. I'm already almost four months into post-surgery. And the reason I didn't go with the pills is because, as he explained about the pills, is that the pills, what the pills do is they go through another streaming system because they're timed, kind of like timed release. So he says sometimes that can take days. You know, sometimes auto, you know you don't have that in your system right away. Now with the needle, and you'll hear him because I have the the video of him explaining it all. Now the needle that'll give you right on the spot erections. So every time I shoot that needle, I should have an erection. But you only limit to three erections a week. So, you know, this isn't one of those, you know, I'm going to inject every day and have an orgy type of recovery. <laughs> this is just, you know, they only limit you three erections a week because after that, it's like the guy said, it, it's like taking three Viagra pills in one day, you'll overdose in it. So you don't want to overdose neither. And then, of course, if your erections are longer than four hours, you have to put ice on it. And ice and a fetamin or something to, to reduce the, it draws the blood out from there. If not, you have to go to a hospital and they inject you with the reverse formula to drain the blood. And uh, again, all that is going to be on videos that I have them only talking because I don't want to try to make this into a two hour video, put it in pieces. This way you guys can understand it more by watching each separate video. If one video doesn't make you happy or understand because each video is gonna be on a different topic on there. So it's not gonna be the same thing because I have the lady that did the injection talking I have the lady that's explaining how to do the injections. And then I have the doctor explaining why. Why injections right now for anybody when they have an ED problem right away to get it down there started. Because like he says, you'll lose it. It'll shrink in 
And I'll be honest with you, like I have noticed, and I think I was explaining it in the video of the the pens with the underwear liner, the pads, is that that's what I didn't like about the diaper is because down there was coming in and it was making it feel weird. That's why I said you need more room down there because, you know, instead of laying one way, it's laying straight and it's trying to pull in. So I did notice that. I was going to try for 30 days the Viagra, but it's like he says, that's a different type of system that it goes through and that can take days. And I'm not talking about, you know, someone who has an ED problem. I do have an ED problem, but I have an ED problem because my prostate was removed. So if your erectile dysfunctional is not because of a prostate removal, then this is not the video for you. I mean, but there's good information to know that, you know, they do this for people too that do have erectile dysfunction. All I'm just saying is that Viagra wouldn't work for someone like me off the bat. Now, someone who has an erectile dysfunction, it might work for them the same day. But even depending on how severe the dysfunction is, the pills still can take days to work. Now, when you're normal and healthy and you're just using a Viagra just to have longer sex, yes, you're going to get a hard-on within 30 minutes of taking the pill because you're healthy. And he was even showing on the drawing that I would there how we go through erections all night long. So down there, and you'll hear the video and everything that he explains, but the picture, I said that, he explained on that picture that even at nighttime, we go through erections. Some people will wake up with a morning glory and some people don't. Just because you wake up with a morning glory doesn't mean, I mean, just because you don't wake up with a morning glory doesn't mean that you're, you were having erections through all the night. It's called realm or something. Uh, but in my situation, I have that. That is not even there. That's gone. So I don't have that erections at all anytime, even in my sleep or nothing. So that's what we have to do is try to get that awake again. Because when they did the surgery, some of that was removed. So now the ones that are surviving, we got to try to get them up. Driving home, like I said, I just feel like a little tingle every now and then down there. I, I hope everything, all this information I'm going to give you guys helps you. I just don't want to keep on rambling because a lot of good information is going to be in those other videos that they're only going to be talking in. I don't mind helping out anyone answering questions. Again, I chose the therapy, the injection therapy, and there's different formulas, which, again, once I get it, because that's mailed to you. That you don't get at your local uh, pharmacy. I know here in Florida anyway. It's The people are going to contact me, and they can either mail it or I can pick it up. And she was saying that if they're local, go pick it up because they do charge you for shipping. So I don't, you know, that's another thing, health insurance-wise. What am I going to be covered what's covered she says i gotta pay for shipping that's not covered how much are they gonna give me you know a year six months because i don't see him till six months from today which is next year so hopefully six months he's giving me a medicine so basically he's giving me a timeline of six months i should be have i should be like uh I should be having erections normally because, again, these injections should whittle me away from them to get it started on its own, the sensations on its own. That's the goal, too. The goal is 
there are people unfortunately that have to do this for the rest of their life but my goal and they even said it can be done but the goal is is to wake this up and so that it can work on its own now will I be the same probably not uh, but I'll have erections so it'll be one of those possibly like hey you know you're driving and it's like hey baby we gotta pull over now it's now or never I don't know if that's the type of situations because this is all new uh, but if anyone's been through it you know drop it drop a little comment uh, I'd like to know anyone who's not been through it then come watch me and I'll take you on this uh, ride here but in the end of it all I promise you when I'm going through cancer is <laughs> just because you removed it and then pray that 20 years it stays out of you to beat it but it comes with more than just, hey, I'm coming out. It comes with more stipulations. Until uh, the next video.